Manual labor. 200 years ago, we picked wheat by hand, every single ock. A bunch of people out in the field with hand tools doing things manually. Then we invented combines. Machines harvest quickly, efficiently, and at enormous volume, but they lack the delicacy and the precision necessary to harvest most fruits and vegetables. So. People are still picking more than $200 billion worth of fruits and vegetables by hand each year. Why is this a problem? Take strawberry picking. 20% of the strawberries grown in the U.S. rot in the fields because there's nobody available to pick them. Labor is also super expensive. It costs $15,000 per acre, or 25 cents per pound, just for manual labor for harvest. This labor is getting even more expensive. And more scarce, due to an aging workforce around the world, national political dynamics, and California labor law. Introducing Traptic. Traptic's giant farming robots pick strawberries. Our robots are saving the world's food production system by automating the work people don't want to do. Our robotic platform drives across the field, while our vision system detects berries and figures out how to reach them. Then our patented gripper. Delicately extracts the produce from the plant. So, what does this look like? Switch to camera feed of machine. Let's switch to camera feed of machine. The system's cameras take a snapshot of the scene. Our vision system. Detects the strawberries in that image, decides which to pick, figures out the position of that berry, and determines the shape of the bed and plant around it. It then plans a path to grab it, and our software commands the robot arm to move the gripper to the berry. The gripper then lifts the berry off the field and closes around it firmly but gently. We then command the robot arm to yank the gripper away from the plant, and because we have a firm grasp on the berry. The stem pops off. We finish by depositing the berry on the conveyor. Just in case you thought this was a lab experiment, let's play the video. Our system does all this in real time, while hanging off the back of a tractor, and moving continuously over real strawberry fields. It is robust to dust, dirt, rain. Wind, vibrations, and the other aspects of the tough farm environment, and it operates all day, every day, for months and years on end. Our gripper is totally unique and patented. This gripper must extract berries from a crowded environment, hold them at a certain angle to help bend the stem, apply a great deal of force to break the stem of the berry, and do all this while being very delicate. We grab the berries with soft, food-safe silicone belts that we mold around stiffer materials. These belts give the gripper mechanical compliance, which allows it to grab objects across a varying range of size and shape, without needing any information about the object's properties. We close the fingers with a defined amount of force, allowing it to grab objects of different sizes without crushing or dropping them. This lets the same gripper grab, grab produce across a large range of size and shape. Without needing any information about the object's properties, without any hardware changes or any information from software, built on a robust data set, Traptic's robot is capable of finding berries and determining ripeness with equivalent accuracy as people. And finally, it does all this locally: no internet, no off-site compute. Industry standard machines are not designed for delicate produce. Conversely, some startups target low-value activities like weeding, only worth one to two thousand dollars per acre, or they harvest fruits like apples, where they are only needed a few months per year. Traptic focuses on year-round strawberry harvest. Finally, we don't require any change in the growing process, providing a smooth path for deployment. Our master plan: get three billion in revenue by picking strawberries. 20 billion in revenue by picking the other fruits and vegetables, 
then go after $200 billion in crop value by automating and improving remaining activities. Robots as a service. We pick strawberries, and growers will pay us 23 cents per pound. This is slightly less than the current spend. We provide all aspects of the service. The machine, tractor, driver, etc. Traptic has developed testing partnerships over the last three years with the largest commercial growers, including Nature Ripe and Driscoll's, and we have done daily testing over the past six months. Traptic will deploy commercially next year. VinFan, Brian Ratopper, and I built big, fixed-wing autonomous airplanes for an AUVSI university project. Then Vin and Brian went to work at UTC Aerospace Systems, and I went to work at Microsoft. After starting Traptic, we recruited from UC Berkeley, University of Michigan, SpaceX, GM, and Driscoll's. Our advisors are globally recognized industry pioneers. Serge Belongi in computer vision, Nathan Dorn in agriculture, Wrap it up. Peter Beal in robotics, along with many others. The future of robotics is outdoors. Join Traptic and help save the world's food production system. All right, so we have strawberries for the judges. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, does anyone want to maybe start asking a question while yeah, these are being distributed? Can I eat first? Sure. <laughs> I can jump in. I... We won't judge you for asking with your mouth full. Oh, I get some too sweet. Thanks for your strawberry. Um, so, Louis, what? Um, so you talked about the cost mm -hmm. of your of your robot relative to labor, manual labor. Um, what about the speed? Like, how how quickly can your robot? harvest an acre, say, relative to manual labor? Yeah, that's a great question. It's something we think about from two angles. So the first angle is what the growers care about. And they really care about the cost to harvest a pound of berries, which is very straightforward because we just decide how much we're going to charge with the service model. And they care about the quality of the berries. And we've recently had one of our customers do a detailed evaluation of the fruit we we're picking, and they told us that the quality of fruit was equivalent to what humans were doing. So we know we're solid there. Um, and then. The other side is the, the side we care about, which is the economics of the machine. So one of our production machines will do as much work as about 20 people. And because we're also able to harvest and run the machine year round, uh, we actually get really great economics. And so we're going to be able to pay back the capital expense of the machine in around seven months. Okay. Thank you. Are you doing the driving yourself because you need to have somebody staffed near the machine? because it takes some level of expertise or because it, it requires regular servicing? Is that why you're doing the driving? So we have a human driver on our machine primarily because we don't need to automate it. So we have focused on the aspect of this. We have started with the aspect that provides the most value, which is being able to pick the strawberries. Mm -hmm. And we found that even with a human driver, the machine will be large enough and will have large enough scale that we can pay a human driver and still have really great economics. We really don't need to build that self-driving capability. Um, and this allows us to get into market a lot sooner. But why isn't the farmer driving? Why aren't you just renting the machine or, giving, or, or selling him or her the machine? I see. Yeah, the, the reason that we want to provide all aspects of the service is to make it very much a turnkey solution. So the grower doesn't have to think about it. They don't have to train anyone. They don't have to, to, to think about how to run the service. We just provide everything. We say, we'll show up. We pick your strawberries, they pay us kind of the same way they've been doing already. It fits very nicely into their business. And the idea here is to provide a really smooth path for deployment. And to that end, how do growers think about the capex that they've spent on their existing equipment, much of which I'm guessing is financed, or they might have long-term leases or whatnot. How do, you, how do you think about the decision of throwing out all that capex spend and the existing equipment they might have that they're growing with and adopting a solution like this? So the way they think about that, um, the important aspect, because we're running this as a service, of course, they don't have to um, pay a big capex up front. They're just paying kind of as they use it. And our system fits really nicely into the, their existing practices. So we don't require any change in growing process. So they don't have to throw away any of their machines. They don't have to change the way their strawberries are being grown or the shape of the beds or anything like that. We just say that you continue growing strawberries the same way you always have been. 
We add our machine to the field, and it fits really nicely into their business. So you won't retrofit their existing tractor. You'll, it'll be used for excess capacity, or how, I guess what happens with the existing machinery? So basically, they continue to use their existing tractors for the other activities that they need tractors for. So they're using tractors to like, till the field and to, to, to spray things on the plants and things like that. And they'll continue needing to do these things. Um, and so they continue using their existing tractors for that. And then we just kind of add our machine to that field and we're providing the tractor and the machine and everything so they don't need to go out and get anything else. What's your market entry plan? And you know, are you already doing beta testing right now? Are you doing pilots? Are you working with specific growers yet? Yes, yeah, so we've been doing all of our testing over the past three years in commercial farms run by the largest growers in the world. So we've been spending a whole bunch of time in their field, including running every day over the past six months. We've been picking berries every day, running the machine all day. Um, so we're working with the largest commercial growers over the last three years, and um, our commercial deployments will be most likely with one of them. What, what percentage, I'm sorry, but what percentage of the market do those uh, growers represent that you're currently working with or that you're in discussions with? On the order of half the market. Lewis, you had a slide that was talking about the expansion of the technology from berries to strawberries specifically to other berries to other crops. What's involved in adjusting that system to expanding the, the products you can actually pick? And what's the general timeline of that technology advancement? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're starting with the $3 billion strawberry market. And what we found is that because we started with one of the hardest crops that we could think of, the gripper that we developed for this actually works really well for a lot of other fruits and vegetables. And so we've tested it with a whole bunch of different fruits and vegetables, and it works really well. So as we expand from strawberries to the other fruits and vegetables, we can reuse about 80% of our gripper technology. And we will also be able to retrain our vision system to detect other crops. So we're reusing you know, maybe 75% of that tech from strawberries to other crops. And then we will also develop two new form factors of robotic platform. So we have our current machine that harvests stuff that's based on the ground, and we'll develop two more. So one for vines and, and one for tree fruit, which will even then share a lot of components, but basically we have kind of three different machines. And that'll allow us to really easily expand from the $3 billion strawberry market out to the $20 billion of harvesting the other fruits and vegetables. And then even at that point, we will have machines running in all these Wrap different fields, um, all these different customers, and so we'll be able to do other things as well. All right, give it up for Traptic. Great job kicking off.